tonight reveal a man's been arrested for allegedly planning an attack on the royals touring New Zealand. It happened as Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall went on a walkabout among hundreds of people in downtown Auckland. Reporter Lisa Owens following developments and joins us now. Lisa. Well, you can probably hear and see behind me guests arriving for the Diamond Jubilee fundraiser. Today we saw the biggest crowds yet gathering for the Royals down in downtown Queen Street, hoping for a glimpse of the couple, but there were some very vocal dissenters making their voices heard in that crowd. One of those people will appear in court tomorrow. It wasn't just the weather doing its best to rain on this royal parade. One News has learned a 76-year-old well-known anti-royalist was arrested by the police just moments before the royal couple arrived in downtown Auckland, where the street was lined mainly with fans. They're, it's a part of our heritage. Well, we are English stock. I've shaken her hands twice now, this morning at the Millennium Institute and yesterday at the museum. And uh, yeah, no, very impressed. Police say a man was seen on CCTV at Britomart with an unnamed item and was allegedly preparing to commit an assault. We understand the arrested man is Sam Brakanov. A family member told One News police called at his home this morning, but he'd already left. This is so exciting! <laughs> Dotted among the well-wishers were those clearly less fond of the royals. We don't tolerate royalist fools poncing around. But their Royal Highness's biggest battle seemed to be the inclement weather and keeping the famous do undercover and intact. Earlier in the day, the pair proved themselves sporting in spirit at least. Eventually, a little touch of Kiwi athleticism did rub off in the form of one sweaty rugby player. The Prince of Wales proved himself well suited to discuss his pet passion. According to um, GQ magazine, I am a, a fashion icon. Uh, and um, so I just wanted you to know that. Uh, I'm wearing some very, very smart Gents Natty uh, New Zealand wool. Since the Prince launched his campaign for wool two years ago, sales have steadily increased up to 16% in New Zealand alone over the past year. But it was this wool embroidered version of Prince Charles's very own coat of arms that really got the future king fired up.